Parker Horse, he's never going to give up on a play. And last night, he had 17 points. I'm going to say it was a quiet 17, though. Didn't do anything that was overly out of the norm for him, but it took him a little bit of time to get going. And when you have defensive possessions like that where Brooks got up and was able to get the block on picket, Westchester can do what they do best, which is get out and run. Merrill, pull up three. And we'll head to the bench for the remaining 219. Mm -hmm. And it'd be like that sometimes. I, I, I'd rather that again than a wide open shot. But now knowing the way that the ref tacked in, yet another trip to the free throw line. Cooper speeds, picked up by Pickett. Merrill can do that. For Cleveland starting this second half and James Akinjo hoist up a three, it's no good. Knicks roll out there, starting five. Sam Merrill catch and shoots. Plan to figure out how to stay in front of Sharif Cooper, who's not in the lineup at the moment, but has 19 points. Yeah, Sharif Cooper can beat just about anybody on the floor in a foot speed, and that's exactly what he's been doing, not settling for three, so to speak. But when he sees a mismatch opportunity, or really anybody in front of him, then getting those kickout threes, and it just took a little too long for them to get into their offense on that possession. Sharif Cooper operating on the outside, gets it back. Much more of a downhill threat as he takes on Brooks. Merrill on the perimeter, fading away, tough shot. Just a six point game. Yeah, back to back possessions that weren't pretty at all for Westchester. Ball to stayed on the left side of the floor the whole time. They missed Garrison Brooks on the initial duck in. And just too much dribbling by James Akinjo.